Guys, today's lecture will be kind of brief for us though. And um, today we'll be talking about the physiology of von Willebrand disease. What is von Willebrand disease? What are the causes of von Willebrand disease and the possible treatments of von Willebrand disease? Okay, so this is the MBBS Naja YouTube channel. Kindly do subscribe to our YouTube video if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel. Okay, so let's proceed. This is an image showing the von Willebrand disease. Uh, you could see a um, normal hemostasis okay uh, i would like you to know the difference between hemostasis and homeostasis hemostasis is actually the blood clotting while homeostasis is the maintenance of a relative uh, homeostasis is a maintenance of a relative um, normal body uh, environment or temperature or what have you and you could say that in hemostasis, that's blood clotting, the normal blood clotting. Uh, bleeding stops because platelets stick together, okay, to start a clot. You have platelets flowing through a cut, maybe a wound or something, okay, a cut through on the skin. And these platelets actually aggregate together, they stick together to stop, uh, to start a clot, okay, to stop bleeding. But you, you find out that with uh, von, 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 von Willebrand, okay, you say that your platelets don't stick together as they should, okay? So now, this is the deadly um, medical condition that we will be studying today, the von Willebrand disease. And this disease is characterized by um, a very slow blood clotting, okay? Your blood don't clot quick as it should. And this is a very disturbing medical condition. Okay, so let's proceed. We say that our von Willebrand disease is a disease. It's a bleeding disorder. Okay, and when you have a wound, just a small cut, and you are bleeding more than expected. Okay, your 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 blood don't clot as it should. You don't clot quick. Okay, so now a von Willebrand is characterized by excess bleeding. Even with a mild injury, just a very small cut on your skin, okay, you could bleed to even death, okay? Okay, let me say, if your blood don't clot and there's nobody to stitch up that wound as quick as possible, just a small cut on your skin, you could bleed to death and this is very serious, okay? Now, let's, let's talk about the emergency care for patients with von Willebrand disease. Uh, we say that uh, von Willebrand disease is classified by type 1, type 2, type 3. And um, if the type is unknown, as if type 1, if bleeding continues, consult a hematologist. Okay? Uh, you could see uh, various... Uh, you could see that head injury always treats immediately with recommended treatment. Uh, mucous membrane bleeds administer the recommended treatment and anti-fibrinolytics, okay, and so on and so forth, okay. Von Willebrand disease is actually a very disturbing disease, okay, uh, where you have uh, a bleeding and you're bleeding, you can't really, your blood can't really clot fast, okay, you lose a lot of blood. Now, what is the cause of Von Willebrand? The cause of von, von, von Willebrand is actually due to deficiency in von Willebrand factor. Okay, deficiency in von Willebrand factor. Von Willebrand factor is a protein that uh, is secreted by endothelium blood vessels during hemostasis after an injury. Okay, it is also re responsible for the survival and maintenance of factor eight in plasma all right so let's continue we did a deficiency of von willebrand factor leads to the following the suppression of adhesion instead of your platelets to clot together adhere together your blood platelets don't adhere together and there's unusual bleeding because your blood platelets don't adhere together 
and there's deficiency of factor eight because von Willebrand um factor is actually a responsibility for a responsible for the preservation of this factor eight okay and this reflects in the excess bleeding uh, that resembles that which occurs during platelet dysfunction of hemophilia okay this reflects in excess bleeding that resembles that which occurs during platelet dysfunction of hemophilia okay uh, your blood platelets don't aggregate the summary of this is your blood platelets don't aggregate hence you get to lose more blood during injury than as usual okay you you just have that random bleeding the bleeding is just too much okay not making sense now um just a summary of the von willebrand disease i would say that it is a most common inherited bleeding disorder uh, you could see a von willebrand factor the von willebrand factor is actually that factor that connects two platelets together okay uh, you could see this place and uh, you could see that black two dots so if you don't have von willebrand factor between two platelets you see that two platelets can actually aggregate together okay i would say that a von willebrand factor it is important role in primary hemostasis okay it binds platelets it binds endothelial components it forms adhesion uh, adhesive bridge between platelets and vascular sub endothelial structures it contributes to fibrin clot formation okay that is the caries factor it and clinical i would say that when you have von willebrand disease you have easy bruising your skin will not be as strong as a normal skin easy bruising and there will be skin bleeding and there will be prolonged bleeding from the mucosa surface okay you have this bleeding and whenever i have bleeding there's just prolonged bleeding more than the usual now um this is just a laboratory test now and um, what is the treatment here we have desmopressin okay as a treatment for von willebrand disease all right guys so uh, with this i think we'll move that was a summary of the von willebrand disease and here we we'll look at the treatments uh, we we'll look at the treatments of von willebrand disease we said that uh, von willebrand disease is not known to have a cause sorry it's not known to have a cure okay it's not known to have a cure von willebrand disease the cure has not been known all right but there are treatments that can help to prevent or stop bleeding episodes all right treatment of a patient depends on the type and severity of the patient's condition all right the types and severity is your own just coming up or is your own in the fatal stage all right and how the patient responded to previous therapy at the previous time that you had a von willebrand and disorder when you were treated how did you respond to treatment all this should be brought into consideration and um, the patient's other conditions okay is it only von, von willebrand and um, disease that you have or you have other medical conditions attached to you too okay this could actually um, be a factor on how fast you will heal okay i see that the, the the other medical conditions are actually key okay the other medical conditions are key to how von willebrand disease condition can be managed okay so with that we have come to the end of our video on von willebrand disease if you are watching this and you like our, our, how we make our youtube videos this is just for you to know that we have thousands of videos coming in okay and do hit the subscription button subscribe to our youtube channel like, go to facebook search mbbs niger and like our page there See you guys in the next tutorial. Bye for now.